hello. Yes, yes indeed. In the opening, I was playing the Club Nebula. Too much fun. I get to play and play and play and play. I think this is maybe the third or fourth dip into the palette, so. Hmm. Yeah. Thought I'd talk just because I felt like it. Well, it's Tuesday. I gotta do something. Um, Thursday. Thursday could be interesting. I have to travel to Boise from my little place here. And that's a two-hour drive. There is a Marshalls just outside of Boise that I can hit on the way back. Finally, I get to go to Marshalls. I've been watching. There's like, like Miss Melissa is doing a Marshalls haul, and Chelly Bean did a Marshalls haul. Yeah, and they all are doing it for this week, so I've got a better idea of what is circulating through the stores. I get to go see. Yeah, I'm not buying a lot. It's like, yes, I can go see. I can pick up a few things. But, yeah, not so much. Still can't go crazy. As much as I would love to. But this is a chance for me to possibly lay hands on some stuff that I've been wanting to try and couldn't otherwise grab hold of. Fun. And I'm sitting here waiting for an email from a thing called Merit Pages. It was supposed to have been here earlier today. It may not get here till tomorrow. But I got this email from the college telling me that they were going to be picking up merit pages and they were going to be assigning us a, an account so that we could pull up things like our certificates for achievements and that kind of stuff so we could show them off. And when they were talking about the, you know, kind of things they mean, they started talking about the um, fact that they're going to be announcing Dean's List and President's List here real shortly, and that that kind of thing will be right there on those pages. That are going. Really? That could get interesting. If I happen to pick up anything, in the category. I'll put the certificates up online at some point. Anyway, yep, Club Nebula. I don't know if you can see yet, but I've gotten a couple of, I've at least started to get the palette a little dirty and playing. And you might be able to see where I've laid brush finger to a couple of paintings. I love this thing. Absolutely love this thing. I didn't think I was going to manage to get it. I sat through the initial launch and the first restock. After the first restock, I'm going, oh my God, I figured I wasn't going to get it. But I didn't spend I saved up money. Got to the announcement for the second restock and I debated sitting and waiting again because I was already peed up from the first restock. Um, because literally with the launch it was sold out in seconds. First restock it was sold out in seconds. Um, got to the second relaunch, or restock rather, and I'm going, 
If it does it again, I quit. <coughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> I will just have to do without. But I really wanted it. So I got on there and it not only went through on the sale, but I didn't have to argue with any of the process. I didn't have to argue with any of the, you know, quantities or shipping or anything like that. And I was through, but it was scary because the next day I went to go check on it again. And there were still pallets. I was confused and then I said, self, let me talk to you. This was the second restock. Very likely the rest of the people that really wanted it have already played with it and they've got it. So there's a little less grabbing and scrabbling at this point. They're still doing it, but not as just as outright crazily. I'm still viewed at the people that bought up the initial launch and the first restock just so they could put it on things like Poshmark and uglier numbers than it needed to ever be. Scalpers get on my last nerve. They just really, really do. Anyway, there we are. I've been sitting here for a while doing some stuff, so I've got a little fallout here and there. Or actually, less fallout, just, you know, blinking and scrunching the eyes and that kind of thing. what you think. No, really. Go ahead. You can do it. I, I, I promise you, you can do it. Anybody who ain't got anything nice to say, where it's just mean for no good reason, bite me go away. I ain't got no time for that knuckleheadedness. You got a reasonable critique, I'll hear it. Yeah, the lips are on the box. It's the Bite Chai Mascara, Length and Volume Mascara from Elf. You know I'm Elf happy. Highlighter is Guava Glow from Shana Miami. The blush is Sunkissed, which is one of the monochromatic duos. Now, this is the Focalure. I don't know where they come up with some of these names, but Focalure. And that's this one. Believe me. You just show the, the pan a picture of a brush, then you put it on. Because this stuff, that's a lot. The colors themselves are relatively subtle but <laughs> don't put a lot on your brush because it will get cute. Let's see bronzer is elf bronzer palette and this one's in what's called bronze beauty it's the lighter of their bronzer palettes.
got a bit of Elf Camo CC Cream and Elf Camo Come Squealer on. Yes, I've been listening to Nady too much. He starts that con squealer thing and it just, I don't know why, it makes me giggle and I keep saying uh, Eyebrows, light brown, lock on, brown cream from Elf. No, I'm not sponsored. No, they don't know me from Adam's house cat. I just... Uh, let's see. Is there anything else I stuck on my mug? I don't think so, because everything sat down really nicely. So I didn't bother with powder. I had originally said I wasn't going to end up using the rose water setting spray from Damien. And I'm out of <laughs> pretty much everything else. So, yeah, I'm using it. It's a little more scented than I would prefer, but it works. Works pretty well. Works fairly nicely. I still gotta remember to try something that I saw on Alina's channel where somebody suggests, because she, she's got a deep wrinkle across her forehead like I do. And it's just, she sprayed with setting spray before putting on her foundation, and the foundation didn't crawl into that deep crease she's got across her forehead. And I'm looking at it and going, hmm, I may have to try that. So I got a deep crease there and a couple that are qualified. And then I got my 11s. Currently, nothing's actually settled in to those spots. Oh, a little lunch left over here. Sorry, thought I'd gotten that. But I really like the Camo CC Cream because it does not really settle into much of anything. The only thing I've got going on currently is right around my nose where my glasses sit. Yeah, pretty, it's like I've got, I bought the palette. I bought the Camo CC Cream Bronzer Palette, the blusher, the highlight came in a box, the lips came in a box, the mascara I bought. So, yeah, there we go. Yeah, the brow stuff I bought. And I haven't run out of ideas for this palette yet. I really haven't. I'm having entirely too much fun with this palette. If they still have them, and you've been debating getting it, and it's not going to break your budget. I love this thing. I really do. It's wonderful. Now, like, like I said, I've had this on for several hours now and stuff is not moving. The only thing I've had to do was replace the lips after having one. Oh, the white liner in the lower waterline is a BH Cosmetics pencil in white. Oh. 
the dogs are starting to shed now that it's getting warmer. So it's like, I keep getting little hairs all over my nose. It's annoying. So I've managed to get a Saturday film out on Saturday. Hopefully this one will be done to be able to be on the channel in time to still call it Tuesday. I'll have to let you know what I did, if anything, on Thursday. I'll have that one ready for Saturday. Anyway, yeah. College. College is interesting. If I've actually made it to things like Dean's List or anything like that because of my grades, that will explain a lot about things like me not constantly getting on and commenting on the people that I follow all the time. I go through and everybody that I follow gets put on the watch later list. And I roll the watch later list in the background the whole time I'm on the computer, regardless of what else I'm doing out there. I wrote it, which means everybody that I follow is getting a full watch on their video plus commercials with no skips. And on some of them where I get a big tug, I will go in and leave a specific message or put in like a couple of emojis or something, just something. And part of that comes down to I'm doing homework. I keep coming out of classes with A's. Well, maybe not the current one because it's all about writing true stuff. And you know, I'm a fiction writer. <laughs> it's doing like magazine feature stories. So it's got to be real. It's got to be true. That one, I may come out a skosh lower. Um, but I'm doing that. And helping out with my grandkids, helping out with my daughter, helping out with the house. It's a little taxing, especially since I've got health issues. But I want to make sure that even if I can't do, you know, lots and lots and lots of commentary on people's channels, that I'm putting the time in for watching because it's been said more than once. If you've got followers who are not watching, they're not helping. So. I do my best and anything that I accomplish since I've started this channel when it comes to school and such I've gotten so much support and encouragement from the people who are watching me that part of this accomplishment actually belongs to you guys too because you put up with me. Which is part of the reason I get on here and talk about school and, you know, I'm gonna like put certificates up and that kind of thing for any achievements. And I still have to get the one out for the English Honor Society. Because last October, when it was the fall invitation time, the uh, local chapter at 
Southern New Hampshire University. The local chapter of the English Honor Society, which is Alpha Alpha Phi Beta, sent me an invitation to join Sigma Tau Delta, which is the international. I said thank you very much. And I have my honor cords that if I get to walk for graduation, or even if I just get the robes and stand around in the living room, I get to drape the cords over me to show that I have an honor society thing. I'm still debating because they send you the cords for free when they send you your induction certificate. But you can buy a fancy stole with the insignia on it or you can buy one of those you know here's your metal little medallion things and i'm going one or the other maybe one or the other just to be a little different because i am thankful they sent the coins all right thank you but they do tend to look a bit like Tiebacks. It's just a piece of twisted cord about so long. And they send you two of them because there's two colors. But it's like twisted cord about so long with tassels on the ends. And I swear they won't want to tiebacks. So yeah, I think I want something that looks a little more yeah, spiffy. We'll see how it goes. Oh yeah, the hair. I, since I colored it the second time, I have wash washed it. And I've like put some conditioner in it and then did like, you know, got up after being a little sweaty overnight because I have night sweats now and again to go along with some of my other issues. And literally one actual shampoo -y. and the color is pretty well shot. <laughs> I'm going. It said up to 30 washings. I haven't even got to five yet. There you go. Just, I don't know. So. I'm not so thrilled with the, the bright vegan coloring. I mean, could you at least have given me another couple of weeks? It's, yeah, there's a little bit of red still left. So I look kind of like a very pale, I do mean pale, strawberry blonde. So. I'm <laughs> mail ordering some more color and going for some more intense coloring and see where we go from there. I haven't decided yet what color I'm going with. Yes, I'm having a good time looking at me, staring at me in a mirror. I like this one. Nice look. Kind of goes with the shirt. Anyway, you got to see how I done it as part of the intro. Now, since the doggy is barking and the children are being out in the kitchen. I'm going to run away and figure out what I'm going to do next on this. 
呀。Be good.